Hi everyone, welcome to GoFrice and in this video I'll be talking about the Vega 56 for 4K gaming. Now how th this came about is because someone over in our Facebook group mentioned that the Vega 56 is a 4K gaming card. And this the comment came after he saw my other video of which I um, compared Vega 56 with the RTX 2060 and RX 57 for the full HD gaming. So he insisted that it's for 4K gaming. Now we firstly we must establish what exactly is 4K gaming. Now 4K gaming should buy should have a certain bar. You can't set a game to the lower settings just and then have playable frame rates and claim it a 4K gaming card. Now that's not how it works. So to me, at least I think for most people, a 4K gaming graphics card would mean that you should be able to, one, have playable frame rates. When I say playable frame rates, I'm not referring to 30. Because at 30, there are highs and there are lows, and their lows are definitely going to go below 30. So it should be, to me, around 50 to 60 range, towards the 60 frames per second range, and the setting must at the minimum be at a high preset. Anything lower than high would not qualify a card to be a 4K gaming card. So now let's left, let's have a look at the benchmarks of which I've tested six AAA titles for you to understand what I'm talking about. So let's look at the newer titles first. With Metro Exodus and the Division 2, you see that it is pretty much a slight show. Average frames per second is below 30. And even like for Metro Exodus, you see that the 1% low is below 10. While the, for the Division 2, the 1% low is below 20. And then as you go to Far Cry 5 and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, they look like they are playable, I guess. For 40, 40 frames per second average with 33 at 1% low is pretty respectable on Far Cry 5, but I'd say it's barely playable. Same for Assassin's Creed. Those are, to me, barely playable figures of which almost work. It's, in fact, you could actually deem it unacceptable because as what I mentioned, 30 frame, 30, around 30 frames per second average, you can expect the lows to be below 30. Now, when you head to Shadow of the Tomb Raider and World War Z, you see that the average frame rates are good, but then the 1% lows again takes a hit, both being 20 and below. So from those benchmarks, you get what I'm saying. This is definitely not a 4K gaming card. It is a 1440p gaming card at best. At the performance level of an RTX 2060, definitely it's not going to be gaming at 4K. Gaming at 4K at respectable graphics detail and frame rate goes to the big boys like the RTX 2080 Ti from NVIDIA, of which we currently do not have an AMD counter offering. Hopefully, in the future, we'll see something along the lines of 5800 XT or 5900 XT. We never know, but those GPUs would be great to have. So, all right, that's it for this video. Just to clear the confusion for anyone about what is 4K gaming and whether the Vega 56 or any card along this level does 4K gaming. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Bye-bye.